Okay, we're here in the Microsoft booth with Todd Hedrick, and uh, we've got a lot of new hardware to show off, don't we? We do. It's a, it's a great uh, great year at CES. We were really creating the category, the category behind home servers really becoming real. Um, people have seen this one before, but this is the Via Artigo uh, A1000 Donovan right. West at Home Server Hacks. Yeah, Just did a write-up on, on this, uh, and it has a you know kit where you can build, put a two and a half inch uh, hard drive in it, and build your own home server if you right. don't have a lot of storage needs. You know, it's a great thing maybe for your mom and dad to back up their PCs, <laughs> right? Right. So you know, when you have to do those support calls, you know, you have a backup of it. And then at the bottom, we'll start go from smallest to biggest. This is Nivius Media's Cargo Edition. It's a uh, rack mountable that holds 16 uh, SATA drives, all hot swappable. These are all loaded with 1.5 terabyte drives. So this is 24 terabytes of home server storage. I don't know wow. if that's enough for you, David. Uh, that'll but that'll hold a few photos. That'll hold a few photos, quite a few movies, you know, and, and give you room to expand and be able to back up your 10 PCs that all have at least a terabyte of storage. Okay. Um, then, kind of in the middle, Via has a couple other products. This is their um, eight drive model. Um, Via is moving from being a system builder to becoming an OEM. So they're going to preload this box with the Windows Home Server software. So, uh, it's the code, uh, the product name for this is the NSD. Uh, dash 78,000, uh, 7,800. I'm sorry, and uh, I don't know the price of this yet, but they're right. targeting a delivery in end of Q1, uh, early Q2, and it will be available worldwide. And then down here is Via's two drive model, um, and this is available as a system builder SKU today. But they're going to again preload this with Windows Home Server and sell it as a, basically like the HP Media Smart, okay. where you can have um, you know uh, this plug in the Ethernet cable. And you know the power supply, and it's up and running. You know after you do a little configuration. Okay. Now, our sorry to interrupt you, sure. but is, is this a headless box as well? These, all these will all videos? be headless. Okay. Yeah. So in the kit today, they come with you know the system builder kit. They do come with a monitor port, but oh. you'll see this port removed when okay. they ship it as an OEM product. Okay. So you'll see the Ethernet and the USB, and then a front side USB. Okay. Uh, but it will that port will be removed from okay. the the OEM chassis. Okay, and uh, we already took a look at the uh, the squash, the so-called tranquil box, and yep. uh, this is something Th different. This is the Squash EX, or their uh, expansion chassis, and it's just got one eSATA port on it. Wow! And so, when you fill up your squash server from Tranquil with you know five hard drives, and you don't know what to do, <laughs> well, just get the Squash EX, and you can either stack it on top of the squash mm -hmm. or set it by the side. Hook up just the eSATA cable and a power cable, and you can add five more SATA hard drives to that's your home nice. server. That's that's very nice. Yeah. Um, and then up above the squash is from Shuttle. Shuttle is very much like Via. They've been in the System Builder channel. Right. You know, people have been able to buy kits, but they're, like Via, they're going to preload. This is a two drive. Uh, uh, two bay home server model, they'll ship with one drive, and then there's a three bay home server model downstairs in the Windows home server booth where the third drive is actually a removal drive where you could use it for backup of your home server okay. or you could use it as another drive in right. storage pool. Um, so you'll see Shuttle in the same time frame as Via bring these products to market, but they're going to focus on the US only initially okay. uh, is Shuttle. And down here uh, is the Acer Aspire uh, Easy Store home server. It's a four drive home server. Um, they're doing some interesting uh, innovations around add-ins. They're actually going to allow you to plug in a USB hard drive that has data on it and have copy, a one button copy. So okay. it'll copy the data off of that USB hard drive onto the shared folders on the home okay. server. Um, so before you had to plug that drive into a PC and copy it across your home right. network, well, it'll be quicker to plug it right into your home server if that's what you want okay. to do. Okay. And that, that's done alone by Acer. That's done alone by okay. Acer. So, you know, really the idea behind Home Server, it's a platform that, you know, our OEM partners can mm -hmm. decide what they want to innovate right. around. And so they're also going to include a DLNA media streamer, you know, oh, so nice. and uh, power saving features right. that you've seen HP also innovate on. They see that as right. a lot of value add there too. I'm excited about the Acer. Have they indicated any any time frame that it might be available? Uh, I believe it's uh, end of Q1. Okay. Um, so Marchish is okay. uh, w what we're hearing. We haven't heard finalized pricing or hard drive configurations mm -hmm. uh, from them yet, and we're not sure. Uh, we know they're going to bring it out in Western Europe and parts of Asia. We're not sure about their entry. And in the this is Logotech's demo uh, with Windows Home Server. They built a really cool add-in. We'll show you the remote access capabilities. But they build home automation solutions, and this little display. Um, is running Windows CE in the background and you can have multiples of these in a house or, or um, just one or you don't even need to use this with Logotech but it's pretty cool UI and so you pick audio, um, you pick source 
and then you can pick your home server as a source for oh, your wow. for your audio and then you can say okay do I have playlists or albums or artists or I want to play by genre I say okay and then you know we can listen to a little bluegrass we can pick a specific artist or just say all right um, oops hit the wrong button we pick all it's a little fat finger there <laughs> There we go. It's hard when you're hitting it from the side. And then you just hit play. Um, and it will play out. You can also adjust the volume here. You know, so right now it's right. min, and I can go up. And you can also have uh, volume knobs. And so you can actually have audio playing in six different rooms, same audio, or six different sources. Um, you can control your lights, your so thermostat. This is, this is a multi-zone type product that has a home server as a back end. Home server as a back end. You can also plug in through these little connectors, like if you have a Zune or an iPod, you right. can actually plug it into the wall here, and it will then automatically show up as a source on the panel. Okay. So you you know it works really well with home server, uh, but it also you can plug in existing um, you know media functionality in here. You can also hook up external speakers. So if you you know want to blast some tunes out, okay. you can hook this up to an old stereo or even just some PC speakers. Okay. You know that are powered. Can I see an IP camera here. Yeah, there's an IP camera, so you can have access to um, you know security information. Right. Um, but you can also from the remote access website. Um, everyone's familiar with this, but additional websites can be added okay. and so from Logotech uh, home control you can get in and you can go manage your climate check the mm. status of your thermostat it will you know you can go look at that camera um, and bring up an image uh, of that camera um, you can set different modes you want uh, okay. for your house you can control your lighting make sure you turn your lights on and off or vacation lighting you know, okay. systems if you're away from home for a while so, you can do some neat things with it right so we can but we can check our house from remote, you know, just for the the product of home server itself. Right. So yeah, with the you can okay. check the camera, you can check the thermostat settings. Okay. It hooks into alarm systems. It's pretty cool. You can start with a, a low end system. It works with Windows Media Center too. They have a Windows Media Center UI. Okay. Um, and um, you can start, you know, without one of these panels um, and just use a software solution. But the panel is really a pretty slick interface uh, into getting this integrated into a house. Oh, that's great.